Hi, meet Kennedy. Kennedy met Agnes and fell in love. Little did they know Mojo was on the way. They got married and started a family. This is our last story. Welcome to this channel. It's more than just family. hey guys how are you doing hoping you are doing well uh, welcome back to my channel it's your girl agindunge uh, and i'm back like i never left i know most of you guys mekwa mkijuliza ah na ude malienda wapi mbona alacha youtube channel na vile alikuwa na saika kianza yeah, a lot of things happened and I'll have a sit down with one of you and answer all the questions you have about that. And as you can see, I'm back just a little bit prettier and a little bit heavier. <laughs> and yeah, jokes aside. So uh, I'm back. Kabisa, kabisa. It will be uh, content after content. I'll be doing um, my content like, like I used to do one year ago when i left youtube and i'll be i'll be serious on this one so today i decided let me start a, a, let me start with the pregnancy series for those who don't know that, that i'm a, for those who don't know that i'm expecting a uh, come junior aka baby aka she or he <laughs> and i wanted to start with the first pregnancy um, not first pregnancy but first trimester recap Followed by how I realized that I was pregnant, second trimester, third trimester. It will be a series. It will be content after content about my pregnancy show. Because it's a long one about the high times and low times because I, I have experienced all of them. Uh, low moments, high moments, everything, crying, being happy, mixed reactions, all that. I know you, you all want to know about all that. So... Uh, let me have a sit down and tell you how my first trimester was. I hope I remember because it's way too long. Last year, Uko. So, guys, yeah, I hope you missed me. So, guys, just grab your seat and watch and listen and enjoy this video. Comment, uh, share, share the videos in your Instagram, in your WhatsApp, in your whatever. Just to let people know about this, tell a, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm back with no jokes. So, let's have this. Bye. I really have no idea where, where I'll put my, where the camera will be situated because I want you to have a clear view about this. But I think that position is better, right? So, guys, I've written some of the things here because it's Mrs. Sahal. Hey, hi, loves. So, um, I want to start the video officially, and I don't know if I don't even know where to start because it's been a uh, while without vlogging it's like i forgot but i'm trying for when you're turning on a tomacosa 
I hope you understand because it's been a while. But with time, I'll catch up with Azoya. And yeah, I hope my Saudi is high. Dog. Okay. Uh, it's As I said before, uh, pregnancy is a journey. It's a journey full of high times and low times. And we embrace it. We, em we just embrace it because it's all worth, all worth it. Not easy, but all worth it. So let me quickly go to the first um the first can i call it a symptom uh, this is this uh, uh, this journey will start from the moment i realized i was pregnant i missed my periods all that way till now that um few weeks to my due to my edd so first uh, let's start with the first month the first month was fine I was okay. I was not feeling anything. I was just so normal. To an extent, I was calling my guy and asking, Hey, are you sure I am pregnant? Because I'm not feeling anything, any symptom, any vomiting or anything. But the guy was telling me, Impress those moments because when you start vomiting, you'll regret. <laughs> okay, guys, will allow me to be to be faster because I don't want to take a lot of time. I don't want this video to be so long. So, the first point, vomiting. <sighs> I hear people talk about vomiting when they are pregnant, but I think, my vomiting was so, so intense. I was vomiting each and every time, each and every second. I couldn't eat anything, whether food or drinks or water, soda, nini. I couldn't eat anything. I was just surviving with nothing, with no food, because I could vomit all of it. In the morning, very early in the morning, I could vomit. I could vomit. No, yeah, the um, they call it bile. Sometimes green, sometimes yellow one. So bitter, something very bitter. And I lost a lot of weight. I dropped from seventy five because that was my initial kgs. I, I dropped from seventy five to sixty seven. That how many kgs are those guys? I lost lots of lots of kgs in Kakona. And people were asking, hey, what's wrong with Dunge? She's she's losing weight and no no, I'm a parara parara. My ngozi was my skin was uh, dry, my lips were so so dry. And talking about going to hospital, I was going to hospital each and every second to get my injections. Um my 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 first trimester was so tough, like tough, T for tough. Uh, to an extent, my veins zikapotea too because I was being injected uh, after every eight hours. I don't remember those medicines. I'm gonna look at it and miziandiki hapo chini hivyo mzione. Every after after every eight eight hours, I was injected with those medicines so that I can at least zimifanya misitapike because I was in a day I could vomit uh, even twenty times. Nothing. Imagine vomiting nothing. I didn't know that vomit me because I was not taking any food. Like that's so funny. The about going to school for those who know I am a student. Like I was not going to school. I only appear during the cut times, the cut one time, the cut two time, and the main exam time. Because I had no energy to just wake up and go to class. Like I was staying in bed, kulala too. Unalala siku inaisha, usiku inafika, unauliza siku itafika lini. And then when money comes, you wonder, eh, usiku itafika sangafi. Yeah, it was sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. And it's not the sleeping of, you even have the usingizi. It is the forcing one. You're just forcing to, <sighs> just stay in bed. Hmm, pregnancy. I, I went and I met the guy now. I, for those who don't know, I usually go to... I usually uh, attend my clinics at Ruai Family Hospital, that is the RSH branch there at Ruai. The guy now, I had a guy now, she was so nice until she flew and left me in the hand of another one, who is also my favorite, because you can call her anytime, you can text her anytime, and she responds in a friendly way. She's so good, she's, guys, you just have to, vi to visit her RSH. So... Um, so at some point, it reached a moment I was to be admitted. 
to be admitted at the hospital so that I can, I can get my medicine after every eight hours. And guys, it was not a joke. I could not drive. That's why I was not going to school. You can imagine. So I was just calling Ubers. They were taking me to hospitals, getting medicine, coming back to the Uber. Hey, at which point I went to the hospital to with my with my nanny because I could not even do the payment alone. Alone I could not make it. I reached there and everybody was looking at me and wondering what's wrong with this girl. Company pregnancy. We are pregnant. See? Um first time tr trimester was a uh, I was feeling so emotional. I was crying every time. Oh, before I even reached there, let me go back. The first sign, the first symptom. No. Let me go back and tell you my reaction in my first trimester. I was so happy. I was very happy for this baby. I was like, Kai, do get I was asking myself and pinching myself every time and as and wanting to know eh, so you mean i'm pregnant i couldn't believe that it was a happy moment because it's something i wanted something i i prayed for and god gave gave it to me without even wasting time without even delaying like it was a happy one um then the other thing is sensitivity. I just started feeling my body so sensitive, each and every part. Even when I could sleep, every 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 part of my body was so painful. That I'm joking, I'll get pole pole because every part was so sensitive and painful. Uh huh. The next thing is clinics. I started clinics way back too early. I think by by four weeks, five four or five weeks. Is when I started my clinics, going to to the hospital to see my gyna, getting prenatals, prenatal vitamins. I cannot. There was there were there were the first ones that I was given. I cannot remember the names before I started using the pregnant care. Uh, yeah, pregnant care. You take it till you deliver. But right now I'm taking others because I'm in my third trimester. I'm almost there. I'm just taking the Ostercare and Ranferon for iron. Uh, the next thing is the smells. Hey, I even don't want to talk about this one. Everything was smelling. Be it what food it was smelling. The fridge was smelling. Everything was smelling so bad. So it happened. <laughs> I even don't want to remember about this one. It happened, I taught my hubby to go and get me some fruits because you are advised to take a lot of fruits and a lot of water when you are pregnant. Then he went and got me oranges, the small kagunia. You guys, do you know what this girl did? You don't want to know. I sat down somewhere, Kwakivuli, I ate so many oranges. And guess what happened from that day? I, start, I started hating oranges. I could pass somewhere and people are taking oranges. Then I'm like, damn, what are these people doing? I could vomit. There, apple, apple. Oranges were the most thing that was smelling bad to me. So bad. Even at a to Mikula oranges, it is reached to a point that we stopped buying oranges here at home. Because I don't take them. Because I cannot withstand the smell. You can just imagine. So when my husband takes some, my bado you smell ya oranges in abaki kwa mikono. Oh God, I could feel so bad. I could stay away from him, meters away from him, just because of that. So the smell was so bad. I could also smell uh, the smell of nini, masabuni, smells of sprays, smells of. Meat, oh God, being married, you have a husband, he has to eat and you have to cook. It doesn't matter how you are feeling. So, I could get into the kitchen and prepare meat. I think my husband loves meat. I, I could prepare meat with masks 
because the smell was so bad nafungua madirisha yote i just put on two masks so that unajua that smell was so bad of the smell of meat was so so bad it was affecting me a lot sabuni i even don't want to remember about that one sometimes i could just take a shower with bare water no unajua with bare water you cannot easy you cannot get too clean but i had to because there was no what, what was i gonna do apart from that one the next thing i'm gonna talk about is ek how do you pronounce it acn or ekn comment down below and tell me i don't have, i don't know about that one and for me they did not i did not have them even today i don't have them if you can see me well and i thank god for that uh, dry lips god my lips were cracking my lips were bleeding every time because i did not take water there it reached a point i went to be admitted at the hospital i'll find the, the clips and put them somewhere so that you can see them uh, then they added me water they, i slept there they added me they added me water because I could take the water so that you can at least have a scan of the of my womb but I vomit immediately so they had to just uh, put me the the water <sighs> my husband my body had no water I was I was dehydrated I looked so bad I'm, I'm even going to find some pictures and at least put them there so that you can see <laughs> um the next thing is feeling angry at people no you can shika i've never been angry at someone friends my husband no today kasikia mtu it was just so normal about that one uh, the next thing i was <laughs> i did not talk about milk tea and sugar those things they were smelling so bad i, I could not take tea i did not take tea for around 4 months because i vomited for 5 months every day every day every day 5 months five good months and people could tell me at e taisha with, with uh, by the second trimester and i was like wow no i could not believe that guys me kwanaona it will go with me till i deliver something like that because it was so intense I tried to eat spinach eat greens my friend i could cook them but i could not take them no matter how much i wanted it i was just surviving on a kauji uji maybe a kadogo sana the yani kadogo tu sana and some little matokes you just see two 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 spoons and you are like full you go and vomit it all I think that is the reason that I, that I dropped my kgs to, to 67. Talk about the the dry stool. My friend, you cannot go to toilet. In 3 weeks time you go once and you spend your whole hours over there. <laughs> If you've been pregnant, you know about this one. I'm not going to explain. <sighs> Talk about the googling part. I was googling everything. When does when does when does um when does vomiting in pregnancy stop what is this yellow thing that is so bitter that I'm, that I'm vomiting i even know by that time because we were we were living at viru my neighbors were surprised they could hear me vomit every morning every evening every morning every evening to an extent i was not going anywhere because where where, where, where will you go when you're vomiting every time you will annoy people Ah. What else that, I, that I'm not that I've not talked about in my first trimester? I think first trimester is all about those things that I've talked about. If I'm if there is something that I've skipped, I'll talk about it in the next video that I'm going to do about the second trimester recap. And yeah, I think that's it about first trimester. One two to say congratulations to any woman out there 
you can imagine a moment that you cannot eat anything and someone comes to sit beside you and eat hey babe apo hey alafu alikuwa ananiambia ati since you cannot eat you go and sleep then i was like them you have the you have the guards to tell me to go and sleep when i have ate nothing since morning hey na vile wewe unaona unazichipa unazikula na mimi i cannot eat i was feeling so bad babe just wish you could go and eat from outside or i disappear myself till you finish eating who is pregnant and is experiencing all this mama it, is, it shall be well you will be fine you will start eating you will stop vomiting like say hivi vile nakula hata siwezi ya mimi ni vile tu najipimia it will be well I know the journey is not easy but it's all worth it. You're gonna hold your baby and feel like ah hata ningepitia that 100 it's all worth it. But that time ujuangi unaulizanga ah na hii pregnancy ni ya nini? Hai to a point that you're almost giving up. Don't give up mama. It shall be well with time. Just give yourself grace. Pray for grace. Pray to God that akuondolee tu zisho zisha haraka haraka sikae kama yangu 5 months because hey no easy because uh, having to carry a baby by your womb is a whole blessing it's a blessing from god not every woman out here is graced is not not everyone is blessed to have the grace to carry a baby people out here are praying for babies people out here are going to hospitals talking to doctors getting therapy about how to conceive but they are not but if you are blessed to have one uh, enjoy it enjoy it to your fullest mommy it's a blessing it's a privilege also make sure your husband supports you especially in the first trimester because if you are alone you can kill yourself it is tough but when you have someone at least who comforts you someone who someone who yani and to support to it will, it will not be bad at least it will be you will feel better so guys i'm also doing the second trimester recap today let me go just change and do it okay bye bye see you drop your comments let me know how you felt about in your, how you felt in your first trimester let me know if this video is helpful in any way or another bye